Right, so in today's video, I'm going to be preparing the ground for the patio sub base. If you're interested in watching any of the previous parts of this renovation, all the links are in the description. And if you want to follow along and see more, feel free to subscribe below. Right, so the plan for today is to backfill the wall because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking off all of this uh, grass here and all the clay and things that's down there and we're going to use it to level off the top here uh, but what we are doing just to make life a little bit easier is we're using uh, the big clumps of grass that we pulled out to sort of build a bit of a wall at the back so then we can leave space for a level of hardcore so we're doing it all the way around now and once we've backfilled all of this got to the level where we need it to be which will probably be about uh, halfway up this final sleeper we can start taking the rest and chucking it on to the top so let's see how we get on Right, well, so far, so good. We've got it pretty level. I don't think it's level with the back. There's still a bit of a slope we need to level off. But you can see we've got all the hardcore there. We're not long. We're talking maybe like 10 mil hardcore going across. 100 mil, sorry, should I say, not 10 mil. Uh, this bit, I wish we'd have done it more like that in, because you can see it's looking much nicer over there. Uh, however, we're probably going to do something similar with this side uh, later this afternoon. So, yeah, let's see how we get on. Right, that's it for the first day. Um, bit of a change of plan. So instead of digging the rest of the garden up, I just thought I'd, after we backfilled the, the wall, I thought we'd just start leveling things out and seeing how it's going. Um, it's turned out not too bad. Without me stinking out, I might not need to dig anything else up, possibly a little bit for the back. Um, but yeah, that's it. So plan for tomorrow, instead of digging the rest, is to uh, try and level this as best I can. And then it's looking at buying some MOT1 some hardcore to go down and start getting this patio on the go so yeah tomorrow crack on with leveling and see where we get to so as you can see i've knocked four posts into place and i positioned them in the places where the patio is going to be i ran this string line all the way along the top line where it is it needs to go now what i've done i've been a bit of a silly mistake really i've measured exactly the length that the six patio flag is going to be now the big issue with that is there's obviously going to be a space in between them and I've estimated between 7 and 10 mil for each um, slab uh, so we are going to need a little bit of extra space so what I'm going to do today is when it comes to digging out these spaces I'm going to dig out just beyond the actual string line itself so it won't be completely 100% perfect and I may need to move where the posts are but we'll just do it as we go so the idea for today is to take this ground level down to knock a few posts in place so i'm hoping to have nine posts in total to get a perfect level ready for the sub base to go in later this week That's our going, that really are going. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have chucked all the soil on that side over there. But I guess, you know, you live and learn. I didn't think of any of this when we started. I didn't think what the level was going to be of the patio. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to knock in the next three posts. And I'm going to get them level with these. And when I say level, not completely level, but enough for a slight slope. So that the water can drain off from the patio when we put it in place.
right so as you can see I've got one peg in there I've got one peg here and what i'm after is this bubble touching this line here so that's telling me that i've got a slight slope going upwards just to assist with drainage so next thing to do now is to put another post in the middle measure it to the front and then i'm going to replace this one because it was slightly too big and i think when it's going to the ground it's hit a rock So that's the first six posts in. Uh, some are easier than others. This one over here, absolute nightmare. Uh, it must be just rocks underneath or just some really dry, sort of tough clay, something like that. But all the way along, we've got it level, perfectly level. And then going this way, like I said before, the, um, the bubble in the spirit level is touching more of the lines. So that's telling me that I've got a slight fall uh, from the back towards the front of the patio. There we go, we're done. Uh, and we're ready now for the sub base. So, I had to use an extra day, third day doing this. Uh, just absolutely back breaking stuff, uh, digging into all the clay and some stones in there, but I'll show you what I've done. So, you can see we've gone an extra about half a foot to a foot, maybe three quarters of a foot further than we need to uh, for now. I'd prefer to be on the safe side uh, rather than me, sorry, in the long term. Uh, you can see we've dug down this side here as well. And finally, down the back too. So I've left this bit of grass on here because it's not really in the way and it's compacted down quite a lot. So that's it now. Then we've had all the uh, sub base delivered today and the sand, we've got the cement, we've got the uh, flags that we're going to be putting down. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how I lay the patio on this space here. So if you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow on with the rest of the renovation, subscribe um, and keep up to date with how I get on with this garden renovation. So thanks for watching.